Hey everybody, this is uh, Dr. Greg Waddell, and I just wanted to share with you something really quick uh, and simple. It's amazing how simple it is, uh, and yet I still see a lot of people um, using uh, Microsoft Word as if it were a typewriter, and uh, I just wanted to share this really uh, simple solution to a, a problem that sometimes uh, we face when we create documents especially documents that need to be signed in some way or, or information filled out. So I have here a, a set of statements that are supposed to be at the bottom of a document that I want people to sign. And then also next to their name will be the date that the document was signed. So typically what I see people doing is they'll come in here next to this and they'll make some underline, you know, and then they'll, you know, do that kind of thing and reviewed by on and so okay and then they'll come over here like the reviewer's name that needs to be someplace underneath so they'll use the space bar right to move that over just under there and the same with the, the date paste that in there and they'll use the space bar to move that over as well which I guess works but there's one problem with that for one thing if um, when people go to sign it, then I want to put my name in here. It just kind of looks kind of funny because it's no longer underlined underneath. And the same with the date. Uh, today is May 19th, 2007. If you're satisfied with that, then, then I, and if that works, I guess that's fine. But there's, a, 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 I think, a better way to do this. So what I would do is remove these lines, get rid of those, get rid of the line, And we're going to create a little table. So you go up and go in table, insert table, okay? And we're going to need uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to need four columns in just one row. Actually, two rows. So I'm going to put, a, put my cursor here and tab it to get another row here. All right, so we're going to write in here, this has been reviewed by, oops, better spell that right, reviewed by, skip the second column, go to the third column, uh, and then you put date, and then underneath the empty column, put in parentheses, reviewer, reviewer name, or whatever else, name there and in parentheses down here, date. Okay, so after you've done this, of course you want to adjust the uh, lines a little bit here. Don't need as much space for a date, perhaps, so as you would as you would the name. So you want to move that over. And you probably want to justify that to the right, uh, to the right there. And the same with well, these down here, the reviewer name, you want to put those in the center. Put the date in the center as well. Okay, so then, once you get it like that, you want to select the entire table. Go to Table, Select, Table. Go over to Format, Borders and Shading, and click None right now. Okay, so now you want to put the cursor in that center column on the top row and just select it by going Shift-Right. Go up again to borders and place a line underneath it right there. And do the same for date, format, borders and shading, put a line underneath it. And there you have it, a perfectly formatted um, place for people to fill in. Now the nice thing about this is you can come in here and if they have it in the, the original Word document, they can type their name in there and type the date, May 19th, 2017, and it, it continues to remain to have a, a line underneath it, so that makes it kind of nice. Just thought I'd share that little tip with you. I hope you, you found it helpful.